Assalamu alaikum guys from Sheffield It's a nice sunny morning 10am So today we're going to try out and check what work Myra does She does some therapy work We're going to hopefully interview uh, her trainer But before we go, a must have is a donut So we'll have some Eve's donuts today There's a custard one there, it's chocolate one We've walked out with £38.50 worth of donuts, which is alright, apart from the fact that Myra wanted. We wanted lemon donuts. Who has lemon donuts, Myra? People. Which people? Who has lemon donuts? People. Lemon filled donuts. Lemon You're gonna have a lemon donut? It's not gonna be like raw lemon like you used to have to eat as a kid. <clears throat> Of course it's not raw lemon but still lemon donuts all right we're gonna go to a place called the hub at uh, abbeydale road they've got they've got hot tea waiting for us there eh, myra yeah so pizza donut casa the therapy casa <laughs> make sense yeah Myra, you excited for your meet up with your colleagues i'm very excited to meet my amazing colleagues. Do you wanna do you wanna give us a little talk about what we're doing in the hub today? Today we are having a, a catch up um, with the founder of Afia Healing, which is uh, I I do Afia Healing therapy, and we're just gonna catch up. It's like supervision, um, and some of the other uh, practitioners who are training. Uh, will also be there so it's always nice to meet up with people who are into the same kind of work alrighty then guys are you ready for some healing of course you are so come and join me and may your life be better I mean I'm this is it man this is the hope this is Lund this is Abigail Road London Road just finishes there behind me and then this carries on to Abidale Road Hi Jamira, bring all them donuts, come on She's saying the donuts are too heavy May God give her strength Thank you, sir. Amen so There's a hair delivered a lot of deep information and knowledge and we'll interview him later as well uh, the, the, the donuts went down a treat a few of them were half in them I don't know why a donut has to be eaten as a whole inshallah we'll do a nice interview with Zahir Zahir would you like this donut? No, you said you wanted more you only had a half I don't, you know the fresh cream will fill me up just going to Dhuhr Jama'a here at the uh, Medina Masjid in uh, the Red Sheffield with my brother Nazir He's come from Leicester. MashaAllah. Do you want to say anything, Brother Nazir? Thank you. Give everyone salam alaikum. Alright, taxi driver is going to run us over. Alright, we avoided death. Come on then. Come and pray with us, guys. Sali Allah, Uniman Hamida Allah. So yes, we are the founder and director of Afia Healing, Mashallah. a natural healing modality that deals with physical and emotional problems. Allah. And we've been creating awareness about mental health and just healing from a holistic point of view for the Muslim community especially and then for the wider audience also. Mashallah. Grounding is your connection back to the earth and it's very important um, on a regular basis to be able to actually take your shoes and socks off because they work as an insulator yeah. and uh, put your feet, bare feet, on the earth. So, natural grass, sand, soil, anything that's of natural, like even leather. And if you were to place your feet on a natural substance from the earth, then whatever oxidants you have in your body, they are able to be neutralized and they come out of your body. So, oxidants in the body is what really causes inflammation. 
Mm. And inflammation leads to things like arthritis, to autoimmune diseases, swelling, water retention, etc. The recommended daily allowance is usually about 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes. A day. So normally they say you walk on grass barefoot, but for the most part, I don't think it's possible to walk without getting needles stuck in your foot in our local parks, unfortunately. <laughs> so even just to sit and put your feet on the earth, yeah. um, but it's not the same with concrete and you know tarmac mm. uh, surfaces. Yeah. So wherever you can, then inshallah, yeah, just. Um, and if, if you can't go outside, bring the outside in. So yeah. even if you've got like a grow bag. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. You, t- you peel it off, that's soil. And put your feet uh, Yeah, put that. your feet on it and sit there. Um, even sometimes a piece of wood. Yeah. You know, some people will say wood isn't, a, a, you know, it's not good for earthing, but it still works. Right. It takes the edge off the pain, especially if people have chronic pain. Then it, it helps uh, bring that off as well. The mindset of our grandparents in the way that they moved over yeah. in uh, the ideologies that were set in their minds at that time. Um, for them to come into a new country, for our parents to be born in this country, to face the cha- challenges of racism, for example. Yeah. Right. And then for us as third generations, um, to be growing up in this country and again, you know, sort of climatizing to this environment. Yeah. But we still carry the baggage of our parents because that's the tarbiyat that we had. Yeah. And they had the, uh, they saw the struggles of their uh, parents as well. Exactly. So that energetic. Uh, trauma always remains in our system yeah. you know we can change things we, we don't simply have to say well you know this is what happened to them so now we're a result of it no Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always tells us it's until people don't begin to change themselves Allah is not going to help them yeah right so we know that okay we might be carrying some of that energy and we have particular you know emphasis or particular uh, biases towards certain things we have to change that within ourselves you know we shouldn't play the blame game and say oh because of them we're like this no we're not you know it's yeah. out of our own choice like you're saying the park is all empty here and our you know asian communities need to prioritize that little aspect within their days mm. rather than just running after money all the time or you know chasing the kids for them to study hard we need to really give some time to ourselves um, because we need to detach from that we're almost in a hamster wheel yeah like we just race. feel yeah it's a constant and then you know this is the other thing with a rat race is even in the rat race who is the winner not us it's a rat <laughs> even if you win the race yeah. you're still a rat <laughs> yeah. yeah so don't don't enter into such competitions because because there is no elevation of the of the being yeah you know the whole purpose of us as insan on this earth is that we become human mashallah do you think um, a lot of the british born pakistanis will have ancestral trauma that they have to deal with I think we all do, um, you know, people, people generally, okay, even, I mean, you see, where do we learn about this ancestral trauma from, is uh, from the concentration camps, mm. okay, the, the studies have been done on Jewish families, yeah. that, you know, people living today, um, who are grandchildren of those, you know, who are in the concentration camps, are suffering depression because of what their grandparents went through, wow. so if they went through that, you can imagine what happened in apartheid in South Africa, in what's happening in Palestine, what's happened in Iraq, because now this is over 20 years old. Yeah. So every part of the world has had some form of trauma, yeah. some form of calamity that, you know, people are still, you know, coming out of what's happened in Bosnia. Yeah. So all of these places, trauma is real. It's true, but yeah. again, this is part of the afat and baliyat that comes down anyway. Okay. Mm. And through which Allah allows us to recognize our own shortcomings. So we're on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook. And uh, like uh, you were saying earlier that your wife has actually studied as well yeah. the Afya healing modality under myself. And uh, mashallah, she's completed her training. She's a uh, certified practitioner. Yeah. And now mashallah, she's got her own clientele. Mm. So you've just come back from Turkey. Yeah. But whilst living in Turkey, she was still able she to working. work with clients online. That's right. And especially through the times that we're going where people are losing their jobs or yeah. people are looking to supplement their income. Yeah. This is something that is definitely going to be needed. This is something that, inshallah, you know, unfortunately, is it's recession proof mm. because our anxiety levels are continually going through the roof. People are suffering with chronic pain all the time. And we just need to be able to assist within ourselves. Definitely. So this is a, ultimately something that if you are suffering and you want a way out, then utilize, inshallah, this space to learn healing for yourself. If you are a carer for someone else, then please come along so that you can also learn how to care for them. If you feel you've got even more, such as you're a hijama therapist or you're a chiropractor or whatever field you might be in, you might be a carpenter. 
but you just have an interest in helping people then this is something inshallah that can also take you up to the next level mm -hmm. join the dots for you to show you where physical meets the emotional where it meets the spiritual and once all of those three compartments come into it we're able to you know begin to heal holistically inshallah inshallah that's the ultimate aim yeah jazakallah khair Barakallah. For your thank you time. mashallah allah bless you and hopefully all the details will be on the description and i hope everyone looks after your mental health just as we look after our outer health and our outer appearance is very important to also look after the inner self inshallah everyone stay safe and we'll see you in the next one